Okay, so on three, you can open your eyes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> One, yeah. two, okay. three. Oh my god, it looks so good! What is going on guys? It is Corey here from Designs By Far. This is a long awaited video. Today we are going to be doing our ultimate setup. We're changing a few things around this time. Everything is going to be custom from the desk, the PC, all custom. We're also changing the monitors around. We're actually going to have two monitors in portrait mode on the outside. So without further ado, let's take you into the setup process and we'll start off with the PC. Oh, and one last thing. Keep an eye out for the giveaways throughout the video. To activate all of Windows features, head on over to MrKeyShop.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $49.90, a fraction of retail price. Your activation key and instructions will be emailed to you within seconds. You can also enjoy all other software such as Microsoft Office, Antivirus, and much more. Mr. Key Shop's specialized technical support is completely free, and all of their products are original and 100% guaranteed. Interested in earning a little affiliate revenue? Then sign up to their affiliate program. I'll leave the links in the video description.
Our first progress has been made. We've got our Alex drawers installed. We've got our YouTube plaque still on the wall with the nano leaves, and we have braced the wall. Now, the reason for making this brace is the studs here. Typically in Australia, they are 600 millimeters or 450 millimeters apart. Ours in particular were 600 millimeters, and that was not gonna work for our monitor mounts. So I had to brace the wall and then install the monitor mounts even closer. That's because our two outside monitors, they're going portrait, the center one, landscape, it's gonna be better for productivity for us. Let's get into the desk.
Now that we've got the desk in place, it is time to get the monitors installed. Over here, I have my 4K monitor. This is my primary monitor, and this is the monitor I use for editing. It is a 4K panel, 10-bit color, and it is IPS as well, so perfect for my editing. And look at that. I'm not gonna do up the monitor arms just yet. I'll leave them free because I need to install all the cables as well. Our second monitor here is my LG monitor. I've had this oh, for years. It's just a 60 hertz panel, uh, but it gets the job done for say, having you know a couple of folders open, maybe having YouTube open on the side. It does the job. Our last panel is from Asus. Now this is a 1440p panel, and I was gonna use this primarily for gaming. It is a 144 hertz panel as well. Uh, but I've decided I'm pretty much just gonna do everything on the middle monitor and just have two side monitors for productivity. And um, that's just gonna help, help out our workflow. So two side monitors and the middle monitor on the monitor arms. So we've got these Govi Flow Pro light bars here and we've also got the Govi LED strips here. We are going to install these now. Now, these in particular are really good LED strips. They're gonna be nice and bright. They've also got an app that goes with them as well. I'm going to test them out further in the video, but for now, we're gonna show installing them. Um, inside the actual package, you get the LED strips themselves. Now, you can control it using the app or you can power it and control it using this controller here. So this turns it on, then you've got all of your different color settings. You've also got a music mode, and if you hold that button down, you can change the level of, level of brightness. Now these clips here also help to reinforce the LED strips around corners. For example, when we put them around the back of the monitor, it's all gonna be reinforced and they're not gonna fall off. So let's go ahead, let's get these installed and then we'll test them out further in the video. And trust me guys, if you want some LED strips, I'll leave the link in the video description. I highly recommend these LED strips and the light bars as well. So I got these two lamps here from Ikea. They were in our previous setup and we actually bought some Philips Hue bulbs to put inside of it. Now, good thing about this is we now have control over all our RGB. So let's get that inside and then we'll get all the rest on. And as you know, they go on each side of our desk. Let's go. So the major parts of the setup are complete now. It is time to install all of our extras. We got a hookup from Rode, so a big thank you to those guys. And if you guys are interested in any of the parts, I'll leave them in the description. But we've got the Rode Procaster, the Rode Boom Arm, and the Rodecaster Pro. Now the reason for these are, is we're gonna bring back our Friday night live streams and we want some good audio for it. Also, our voiceovers for videos. This is gonna come in super handy. We have never had any high-end gear like this, so it's a big upgrade for us, for the studio, as well as the live stream. Let's go ahead and let's get this stuff installed. So my next little gadget that I'm gonna be adding to the setup is a desktop charger. This is by a company called Fledging and it's called the Spruce Desktop Charger. It's got three USB-C ports and a USB jack over here. And of course, it is a phone charger as well. It has wireless Qi charging. Now the cool thing about this is this can provide enough juice to power even your laptop, your tablets, or even a monitor. So we're gonna be adding this into the setup and we'll give it a little go later on in the video. So if you're interested in learning more about the Fledging Spruce desktop charger, I'll leave those links in the video description. Let's go ahead and install it. Here we go. This is the deck of all decks. 
This is the loop deck. What do you think about the loop deck so far, Amelia? I'm excited for it. You I called it, it. Pac-Man. I do see a little Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. The almighty, oh, hang on. Hang on, let's just take this out of the way. And hit, oh, hang on. Let's just, and, oh, it's up, hang on. And there we go. Yes. This is the loop deck, ladies and gentlemen. This is like the ultimate, the ultimate deck that you want for your setup. Now guys, I'm gonna leave the links in the video description if you are interested. Essentially what this is, is an all-in-one programmable deck. You can actually macro all of the buttons on here and the screen is touch screen. Now this works with different programs such as your editing software like Adobe Premiere, where you can actually go to the different color wheels, you can go to editing, audio, you can even select the tracks, zoom in and out, all using this deck. So it makes life a lot easier, especially for productivity. But not only that, if you are sending the same generic email, you can actually macro save text. So all you have to do is hit one key on this loop deck and it'll paste your email in so you're ready to go and hit that send button. Not only that, but it is also the ultimate streaming tool. It works with plugins such as OBS Studio and you can use it just like a normal stream deck. Anyway, we're going to look at this a bit more closely further on in the video. Let's get this installed. The keyboard we decide to go with is the Royal Kludge RK100 mechanical keyboard. They actually sent me two extra keyboards to give away to you guys. One in the comments section down below in this video and one in our Discord. So be sure to join that and keep an eye out on the announcements channel. You can actually get this in a variety of switches. This particular one came with the Gatron Red switches. So the keys actually have nice soft ambient lighting and the whole keyboard is powered by a 3750 milliamp battery. The keyboard has two USB pass-through ports and a single USB Type-C port. So for me, I actually like the fact that the keyboard is actually very quiet and I like that it does have that wireless option. Personally, that suits me more because I like a clean setup with minimal cable clutter and the wireless option just does that for me. So guys, remember, we have a giveaway of two of these, so be sure to enter that. And I'll also leave the links in the video description if you wanna check out this keyboard even further. The Govi light bars and LED strips have RGB IC technology, but for this segment, I'll focus on the LED strips. This technology allows the LEDs to give rainbow-like effects. You can control the lights through the built-in control and apply different music modes. To really see what these lights are capable of, you can install the Govi Home app. You can pair your LED strips and give them their appropriate naming. In the color gallery, you can find loads of presets based on the particular mood you are after. For example, the preset Natural gives us a bunch of natural scenes and the colors associated with it. The effects lab is my favorite section. There are tons of preset effects to choose from and some of my favorite being Meteor Shower, Aurora, and Comedies over in the movie section. In the music section, the LEDs can sync to sound. There are a bunch of preset options to choose from and you can change the sensitivity to suit. Govi allows for incredible customization with the LEDs. You can customize each section of the light strip and play with its brightness. And for anyone feeling creative, you can actually have a play around with the DIY section to create your own effects. However, for me, I'm gonna be sticking with the preset options. I highly recommend checking out the Govi light strips or light bars next time you're upgrading your personal setup. And trust me guys, these are the light strips that you want. I'll leave the link in the video description if any of you guys are interested. As I mentioned earlier, this is the Spruce desktop charger by a company called Fledging. All three USB Type-C ports provide up to 100 watts each, while the USB Type-A port provides 30 watts. It comes with an adjustable angled wireless charging for your phone, and believe it or not, but this charger can power at least two laptops at once while using them. Now, I love this so much because it minimizes the cable clutter. Now, if you're interested in the world's most powerful multi-port charger, the Spruce, then they have a fantastic deal for limited time only. Instead of the usual $125, they are selling the Spruce for only $80 to the first 1,000 customers. Well, that's $999 now because I got one. I'll leave the link in the video description.
This chair has to be one of the most important purchases for us. This is the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. We work from our PC daily, so it's important to help aid a healthy posture. The Ergo Chair Pro actually has lots of adjustment elements to help fit any size or shape body type. By pushing down on this lever, you can bring the seat back and forth. The armrests have side to side motion, back and forth, and can be pulled up and down and have some swivel play. The lever at the back allows for the backrest to move back and forth a bit for your desired position. The left bottom lever allows for back tilt, and if you wind the bottom right handle, you can increase or decrease the tension on the tilt. The headrest is also fully adjustable. Autonomous are also giving away one of these Ergo Chair Pros to one of our lucky viewers. So, if you want to be in with a chance to win, join our Discord server and keep an eye on the announcements channel. Not only that, but Autonomous has provided our viewers with a 5% discount code if you want to check out this chair in more detail. The code is designed by IFR05. That's right, designed by IFR. They actually forgot the S in designs, but that is okay. I'll leave that link in the video description. And seriously, guys, this thing is comfy. As mentioned before, this is the Loop Deck Live. Now the Loop Deck Live is a console for streaming, editing, color grading, and much more with a highly customizable interface to help workflow. Now the Loop Deck actually has native API based integrations built into the software so it can recognize whichever applications you are running. And dynamic mode over here, when it's turned on, automatically swaps the Loop Deck layout based on the application you are currently on. So for example, you see the Loop Deck here. If I switch to Lightroom, for example, you can see that it's switched application. Now, if I was to turn dynamic mode off, it wouldn't switch. You'd have to manually switch it yourself. Now, by creating different profiles, you can create personalized shortcuts for any software. So far, I've set up a profile for my RGB software. So with one tap of the button, I can open up my RGB software for the new PC. Now I've also created a profile for my different editing softwares, for example, Adobe Premiere and Audacity. Users can also create custom actions inside the software you're using, such as Lightroom, for example. Personally, for me, I want to use a loop deck to increase productivity by having everything in one place to access. I can completely edit this photo using the loop deck only. We can play with the temperature, the exposure, bring that right down. We can even change the contrast, add a bit of highlights and shadowing to completely edit this photo. Your workspace is completely customizable and this is where I spend the majority of the time tweaking for my personal goals. I created a bunch of shortcuts here you can see to access my most used programs. Now, if you go over into the custom section over here, this is where you create everything. So majority of my custom presets are the run command, then you can find where the program is actually located in your files. You can also create actions and shortcuts, but another one is text. Now where this might come in handy is, say you have a generic email that you might send out all the time. You can type that in, and you could save that text. Now that text will save over here in the custom section. You can drag it over to macro one of the buttons on the loop deck. Then what you can do is you can open up something like Word, for example, at the tap of a button, bring it over here, and then if you hit the text button, it'll automatically place it. Now imagine writing a very lengthy email, but at the push of a button. You just keep pressing that and it'll keep going. <laughs> Now you can add as many pages as you like. I personally like to bind my pages to the buttons down below. As you can see, I could scroll between page one and two. Now let's go to page two and I'll show you guys how to add in something. Now you have a search bar up the top to search for different actions or you can manually search and drag it to a sign. So for example, if I want to pause something, this is gonna be in the media. So we could get media play and pause and we can just drag that into suit. There is so much more that the Loop Deck Live can actually do. For example, lots of streaming functions with OBS and other programs. However, we would be here for ages trying to explain everything that it can do. So I just wanted to show you guys what I personally use it for and how I benefit out of it. But if you guys want to find out more, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can go and check out all the various actions that this is capable of doing. And hey, if it suits you, feel free to purchase it for yourself. Okay, so on three, you can open your eyes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> One, yeah. two, okay. three. 
Oh my god, it looks so good!